Hey, what is up? Thanks for joining us for The Daily Drive. My name is Mike, and we are on a 21-day journey of encountering God. And this week, we've been hanging in the words of Jesus from John chapter 15, focusing on three words that really make a difference. And those three words are, remain in me. That's what Jesus said. Remain in me, abide in me, dwell in me, stay connected with me. Let's read those verses again today from John 15. Here we go. Remain in me and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it's severed from the vine. And you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I'm the vine and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If you and I stay connected, I mean, if we keep the remain thing, the main thing, we will flourish and produce all kinds of lasting fruit. If we don't, we won't. I mean, a branch that's cut off from the vine might stay green and vibrant a day or so, but eventually it shrivels up and dies. And being honest about my own life, those times where I felt a little dead on the inside were times I disconnected from the vine. There is such payoff for staying connected daily to Jesus, and that's what we're trying to do during this 21 days. I mean, research says that if you can practice something for like 21 days, it's likely to become a lifestyle, and that's our hope. And since Jesus used the botany illustration, we've been using the word sap to point out some of the things that happen as a result of receiving life-giving nutrients by staying connected to Him. Last episode, we said the S stood for security. That as you remain in Him and you let His words remain in you, you begin to see yourself the way He sees you. And words like priceless, loved, forgiven, free, chosen, redeemed, son, daughter, those words begin to define you. To walk through life with a humble confidence and know that is not an oxymoron. True confidence finds its roots in humility. And when you walk through your day with a humble confidence, secure in who you are, things like people applause or their criticism, your job performance, your grades, your bank account, your looks, trophies, those things no longer define you. You already matter to the one who matters most. So security is the first payoff. The A in the word SAP stands for awareness. Awareness. To remain in Him is to live in the awareness of His presence every day. To know that He's not only with you, but if you are a follower of Jesus, He is in you. And living in that awareness is an absolute game changer. One of my favorite Psalms from the Old Testament of the Bible is Psalm 139. is written by a guy named David. Can I just read a longer portion of it today? I, I, I just, this, this just might hit you the same way it it hits me. It says, O Lord, you have examined my heart, and you know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and you follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the grave, you're there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell over the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in darkness I can't hide from you. To you the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. When I wake up, you are still with me. Isn't that a cool poem? I mean, this is, this is not David saying, dang it, God, I just can't get away from you, man. I can't hide. It feels like you're stalking me. And honestly, it's a little creepy you invading my space all the time. No, David is saying it's amazing. It's amazing knowing that there's nothing that can separate me from your presence. To know that I'm known Oh, man, that is such a comfort to me. To know that wherever I go, you are with me. That fills me with peace and courage and wonder and joy. 
I remember probably 35 years ago hearing a pastor from Argentina named Juan Carlos Ortiz talk about how people would ask him, Pastor Juan, how much time do you spend with the Lord? He got this puzzled look on his face, and he said, uh, 24-7? He's with me all the time because he is in me. That was a formative moment for a young guy. It changed the way I was doing life at the time. I started living in the awareness that he was not only with me, like David wrote, but that he was also in me, giving me strength in the moment, giving me patience while I was standing in line, helping me react to my wife, to my kids, to others in appropriately kind ways. He was guiding me to make the right decision when I was standing at a moral crossroad. I mean, it really has been life-changing for me. Oh, occasionally, I'll tell him, leave me alone. Don't want to hear that. I'm going to do my own way. Jesus, you need to wait in the car. I'll be right back. But those times, honestly, are becoming more and more rare these days. You see, when we come to Christ in faith, He moves in us. He abides in us. He remains in us to help us flourish and produce fruit in a way we never could on our own. Jesus said, I came not only to give you eternal life, but that you might have life right here and right now and have it to the full. And a connected life, that's a full life. It's full of fruit like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Remain in me and you will experience all of that. So today, what do you say we keep the remain thing the main thing and we live in the awareness of his loving presence in our life? I pray today that you will sense how much God loves hanging with you today. And I'll see you back next time. Have a great day.